everyone. This is Chaitali Bak, Chief of Bureau with Aviation and Defense Universe, reporting live from Defense and Security 2022 Bangkok, Thailand. Second day of the show, and I'm at the Indian Pavilion. With me, I have Mr. Prashant Sakamuri, who's Managing Director with Hind High Vacuum Company, and R. Suman, who's Assistant GM with Hind High Vacuum. Welcome, welcome to both of you to our ADU's chat room. And we are here today to know from them their experience with the defense and security. Welcome to the show, sir. So we begin with your experience of these two days at Bangkok Defense and Security 2022. How it has been so far? Don't you want to answer? Yeah. Okay. okay. In fact, it was uh, coming in here is a new experience for us because this is probably the first uh, South Asian uh, defense show that we are in and uh, basically being a component manufacturer doing the back-end technology we are never really exposed to the front-end and uh, people who are actually experience the product. So from that side we coming in here and showing our stuff uh, what we make and our capability basically has opened a lot of eyes. And to us, we see that this show is a very, very well organized show. It's quite, uh, quite large. It's uh, well spaced out, very well structured. It seems to attract a lot of people from the whole region. And uh, I think in the last couple of days, we had quite a few interesting visitors who have walked into our show to understand our product. Uh, probably the only challenge that we see is that. Uh, we probably don't know the language well enough. Uh, I think it would have probably helped if we were a little more proficient with Thai. But uh, that not being uh, to be, uh, you know, not to put that aside anywhere. But uh, basically, I think overall the show has been really good so far. Anything so, so from one of you, I would like to know more about your company. What exactly it does? How you are in the defense market? So HHV basically is a 60 year old company been involved with vacuum science and technology. So our relationship with uh, defense, atomic energy, space goes back to the uh, right from our inception basically because all the, the technology goes hand in hand and uh, with anything which is related to cutting edge technologies. And if you, uh, if, uh, most people will remember for a significant part of its initial years, India was isolated from Western technology because of various embargoes of that time. And that was basically the base on which HHP was the key vacuum technology company for supporting the whole uh, technology base and development in a lot of areas uh, in this field. So we were involved with uh, making specialized equipment for a lot of uh, special materials. Then subsequently it went on to doing a lot of specialized coatings. And today we are doing a lot of specialized optics also. So today most of our components are used in most uh, defense uh, uh, optical instruments. They are used in space research and uh, then as well as we are also making a lot of components for the uh, non-defense scientific sector also. So the company overall is over 60 years old and uh, has based in Bangalore and has a very uh, say, uh, established R&D program and a strong development uh, team. And in fact, it has also been the recipient of many awards, including the National R&D Award uh, from the President of the So now, uh, since uh, you mentioned that your products are not only used in defense, they are also being used out of uh, other other uh, regions other than defense. But we will come back to defense sector only, we will concentrate ourselves to defense. Where all your products are already in uh, use with the defense sector, I would like to know more about that. Yeah, as Mr. Prashant already mentioned, we are not the front-end equipment uh, uh, device manufacturer. We do manufacture a lot of uh, optical components which goes into a lot of uh, OEM uh, products. We do supply them uh, to, to, across India to various OEM manufacturers and we also uh, export a lot of them. If you see uh, armored vehicle, there are tens and twenties of uh, optical components which we manufacture uh, them in-house. 
right that's great uh well yesterday when the high commissioner of india in thailand was here mrs suchitra durai she was very keenly interested in your products so can i know more about the discussion that you had with her the whole exercise was about uh, she was very impressed about the fact that substantial amount of this very high tech uh, product is being made in india and uh, not many people know about the fact that they are we support the whole make in india program very extensively so and these are these components traditionally would be seen that they would be coming in from very advanced countries the fact that all these things were being made in india was something which she was uh, quite impressed with and she was also very impressed about the fact that we were making certain products which are already into assemblies which are going ready into the whole indian uh, armament system like the periscopes going into the uh, armored vehicles or the tanks the gun sights uh, the reticles that go into the gun sights the various kinds of filters that we make which go into the red dot uh, uh, sights in the rifles so or for the night vision the whole amount of optics that we uh, make for the uh, night vision we don't we make all the parts but not the uh, end product and that is what uh, they say uh, and the fact that we were able to supply to many other people who are who are there exhibiting at the show who are some of them are already our customers another very uh, unique and promising uh, thing that we saw yesterday was the high commissioner diplomat having a meeting with the industry participating in the show the indian industry participating in the show and we could see the media could see that it was a very healthy discussion happening where you all were projecting your thoughts and she was hearing patiently she was giving inputs as well so how was it meeting and how do you think bureaucracy or diplom- diplomats can help the industry the indian industry to establish themselves in a foreign land or have more cooperation in a foreign land in fact the biggest uh, challenge indian companies always face when they try to market overseas is perceptions about the manufacturing capabilities of the country and also perceptions about the fact that we are still a third world manufacturing country mm. these are where the uh, our embassies overseas and the uh, people who are actually Uh, portraying the our country to the world out here in various local forums that they are available uh, which are available to them could be able to show the engineering strengths of the company uh, country as a whole because the country has progressed in leaps and bounds as far as engineering capability or technical capabilities are there but these are hardly known to the western world or to the other parts where we could be Uh, as competitive uh, suppliers as any of the other countries who are today called the factories of the world we can slowly evolve to be that and it is our uh, commissions and the high commissions and the uh, the uh, people who represent us in various countries they can actually make us uh, be seen in better light and that seems to be the trend of things the way uh, madam high uh, madam ambassador who was here she was very very positive about going through every detail wanted to understand wanted to understand the capabilities and then take it forward right well today we saw you both going around the whole exhibition so how has been your interaction with the other companies out here we have pavilions of france us czech israel we have a lot of pavilions here so how has been your interaction with all these companies who have come from the other part of the world In fact, uh, we met a couple of uh, OEM manufacturers uh, uh, from various pavilions. Uh, 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 we have visited the Berlin Pavilion, US, Mexico. So we found some uh, interesting information from the manufacturers uh, that I mean these niche components, niche technology is available within India, uh, and we had uh, very good interaction. one to one interactions with uh, a lot of them uh, to to start maybe uh, the initial business interaction it was quite uh, helpful for both both sides just to add on that uh, i think we also were quite interested uh, with a few high companies who could be interested to work together 
to do some uh, work going forward because there is also a free trade uh, agreement between India and Thailand mm -hmm. which seems to be something which could be leveraged upon to ensure that there could be movement of parts from India to Thailand to build assemblies. Mm -hmm. On those lines, we have the same exhibition, the same show next year, 2023, which is already announced. So where does High Hind Vacuum Company see itself in next year? if you are here again in the same show? We will be here tomorrow next year, but next year we will be not just coming in with what we have, we probably be working and also showing off a lot more with our partners. Uh, this is the people with whom we build some of the components, we will probably be, we involve them also to show what we are capable in a larger perspective. This, was, this year was more about sampling the whole process. Mm -hmm. We will probably be in greater strength last year, next year. Great. We really look forward. ADU wishes you a really great year. And we definitely meet next year again in the same show. And uh, thank you so much for your time, for uh, telling us about your experience in this show. We take a leave from here and hope to see you again in the same show. Thank you, Jaitanya. Thank you, Thank you so Thank you. much. Thanks for your time.